happy sabbath everyone happy sabbath again um we are actually going to be looking at the um proverbs yes proverbs actually and uh let me just make sure i get that part right okay that's good and that is good as well all right we are going to finish chapter one we are in chapter one in verse 28 just a recap of chapter one we were, we were actually reading from that part that says wisdom calleth or calls aloud let me just show you exactly what i'm talking about right now we were looking at that part from verse 22 or verse 20 verse 20 and we finished at verse 28 last time. What we basically talked about was that a lot of people, what they do is they they want to live in the sin. And then, then when the consequence comes, then they want to call on to God. And God is saying basically, hey, I, I told you, I, I, I gave you my help, you refused it, I extended my arm, you didn't want it, you rejected it, and now you are in trouble because you decided to follow the devil, but everything comes with, every consequence comes with an action. So, you wanted to do, you wanted to do the wrong thing, there's a consequence to that. But now you are in that, you chose that wrong path, and now you, wanna, you want me to come and take you out. But the problem is, you don't want to take you out because you want to stop sinning. You want me to take you out to get you to not face the consequence. And God is saying, that's not happening, basically. Now, let's keep on reading. Remember where he says, when your fear cometh as a, as a desolation, verse 27, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That is because they don't really want God. They just want the benefit of having God around. Verse 29. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. And again, what what is the definition of the fear of the Lord? Well, verse number 7 tells you the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But fools despise wisdom. Which means when you see people coming through certain problems, now it doesn't mean people that are living the best life does that mean that does not mean they are following God. The devil can also give people the best life. Temporary. But basically the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom or knowledge. But because fools despise knowledge, which means they hate knowledge, then there will be destruction come upon them there's going to be distress upon them and all these things that's why you see a bunch of people with a lot of money can't sleep at night because they got the money doesn't mean they're happy having a happy life some of them may have terrible lives the devil attacking them left and right why? because they didn't want to follow God they would now they would verse 30 they would none of my counsel meaning they would they, 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 they did not want his counsel they despised all my reproof you know in second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 17 says um, every scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching correcting instructing in righteousness that the men of God may be thorough and prepare, totally prepared for every good work. So when you decide to um, put aside God's counsel and you reject his reproof, 
You guys remember in the first, the first, the first, very, the very first words, what this is right here? To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity. Like, when you, when you, when, when you decide to reject um, reproof, it means you think you know better in every single case. And in this case, God is saying, oh, you don't want my counsel? Fine. When it's, you know when, let's think about it that way. Um, I'm going to put it in a, a human term. You know how we always talk about the women, they should submit to the men and all that? Okay. Um, the reason why that's one of the case is because when the woman submits to her man, if she follows what the man says and something bad happens, you know what's going to happen? The man is going to get up and fix everything. But if the man is telling her, no, don't do it this way. Why? Because the man actually know. let's say the man knows better. He has gone through it. He can see where he's going to, where that's going to, that's going to end. And he's telling her, baby, don't do this. Because when I did this in the past, this is this is what happened, and she's stubborn, saying, "Well, that was you. I'm different. I can do it." What would happen if it things turned out to be horrible? Well, the man might be reluctant to help her fix it. Why? Because when he was giving her the advice, the counsels, and the reproof of "Don't do don't do that," she rejected it. It's the same thing for God. We want to basically use God most of the time. Most people want to use God, not live according to God's will, but use Him. But of course, you can't use God. But anyways, verse 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. What's that word again? What is devices? It's not... Like what you have in your hand. Plan, device, or counsel. So whatever, whether it was a mischievous device. So in this, in this case, device means something. When you want people to have bad intention, yes. It means that. So whatever they thought about of doing wrong, they're going to be filled with the fruit of their own wrongdoing, in a sense. For, verse 32, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And that is interesting. People need to understand that part very clearly. What does it mean to turn away? What does that mean, the turning away of the simple shall slay them? You know when we, when we, re, when we read earlier on the top, it was talking about the simple. Let me actually see if I can find it for you guys. Um, you have to understand what that word simple means. It it doesn't mean oh that's just simple and no. It means something else. You see, verse number four that says to give subtly subtle subtle subtlety to the simple. This that word simple means open minded. So what God is basically saying here, because you decided to turn away from being open-minded, because if you are open-minded, that means you can learn something. Because you turn away from being open-minded, that will become a problem to you. And of course, fools, which actually hate knowledge, mean, means that fools have no knowledge. And so, when you talk about prosperity of the fools, it basically means destruction. Because you got no knowledge. You think you're going up, but you're going down into the pit. So yes, the turning away of the simple simply means you are not willing to be open-minded to God's counsel. And the prosperity of the fools basically means you don't, you don't, you don't know anything. And you think you know. But because you think you know, that will actually lead to your own 
destruction. Verse 33, But whoso, meaning whosoever, hearkeneth unto me, shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Basically, God is saying, out of all the things I said, if you simply listen to me, and do what I, what I say to do, because I know best, you're going to be away from evil. Now, it does from the fear of evil. It doesn't mean that Satan is not going to try to come in and attack you. No. It simply means, at the end of the day, when God comes again to destroy wicked evil and Satan and death and hell, you will not be destroyed with it. Meaning, you cannot be safely in God. Funny thing is, I'm wearing this shirt right here. Very funny. That says rescued rescued oh here safe in Jesus interesting I don't know why I'm even the shit I'm wearing he said that actually says rescued right safe in Jesus which is the Noah's art you, you remember the story of Noah that actually is the story of Noah, in a sense. God told Noah, go tell the world that a judgment is coming, a flood is coming, tell the people to get into the ark. But there were people that thought they knew better. They were fools. Why? Because they hated knowledge. They didn't believe in what Noah was preaching. They looked up to science over God. And what happened? When the evil came, they were without protection. Same thing. God tells people, hey, listen up. There is a judgment coming. Fire is coming. I want you guys to get into the ark. Meaning the ark of the covenant. But there are people out there who think they know better. That are saying God doesn't exist. That God is this. God is that. And they are grabbing everybody else with them. They and people think, oh, the they are prospering. When in reality, they are prospering in the wrong way. Why? Because they are going to destruction. And God says, if you listen to me, you will not be in the fear of any evil because you would dwell safely. So, guys, this was chapter one. And next time we're going to look at chapter 2 of the book of Proverbs. Until then, it was again the Open Veil TV. Food for thought.